That was weird. Very strange. Keep your sights out, friend. Yeah, yeah. Suck to this person. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them a lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So I hold up here to lay low. Really? Ellie asked me. Udon Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. What did you do that got you in trouble? What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of the ship, I swear. Yet you think the board had someone following you follow you and now you're hiding out think no i recognize a contracted killer when i see one thank you in my line of work that's a skill you develop during week one assuming you want to keep breathing all right i'll fess this part up too if it means you'll help me i'm a thief i specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items three weeks back i caught rumor that the blood tear diamond last worn by an heiress on the lost hope had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. Really? So you stole it? If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. I'll talk to Udom for you. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? Any word on Jesse? She's in debt with the board. Good luck. The board's got an office on the promenade just before engineering. We can't miss it. So all I got What do I want to do?
the outer system's route lately. Deader and space medical are out there. Traffic's down. This is Halcyon Moon. Gracious. I was just sitting down for tea. Yes, dearie? Take that darling ship of yours down to Roseway, where that distress signal I told you about came from, and ferret out some tasty corporate secrets for old Gladys. Shouldn't be too tough for a fellow like you, I'd think. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Okay. Yeah. No one saw me trip over that, right? But... To do Hey there, you mind stepping back? This charming little ship's been impounded and I'm afraid I can't let you near it till it's not. What do you mean impounded? I don't really know. We got orders to hold your ship is all. Can you help me get it cleared up? I'd surely love to, but that's just not my bailiwick. You'll want to have words with our representative here from the board, Mr. Udom Bedford. His office is on the promenade. Have yourself a pleasant day. Hmm. Impounded by the groundbreaker said security. Great. Have either of the assault cruisers ever So much for leaving. Go back to Byzantium, you gold plated bastards. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. I'm just gonna hang in the back and try not to touch anything. Oh, hello. Oh, this is quite unexpected. I didn't have any visitors on my schedule today. Who might you be? I'm the captain. The captain of the... <laughs> no, 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 that can't be right. Alex Hawthorne is the captain of that vessel. On top of that, I just impounded it. Oh. Oh, dear. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Yeah, he's dead. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. What was your relationship with him? He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Yep, sure. Ah. <sighs> That's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? Uh, he was eaten alive by feral candids. No! How dreadful. That was always Alex's greatest fear, you know. 
devoured by those fiends, becoming one with their... their droppings. So, about my ship. Fine. You're free to go. I've removed the impound order on your ship, but before you go, I did have one request. Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? Why is the board so interested in Wells anyway? You haven't read the posters. He's a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. He never mentioned Phineas Wells. That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? I'm here about Jesse Doyle. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. Oh, nice. Can't she work you for you until she earns back what she owes? I believe the captain is proposing an indenture contract. No, oh, in teeth. Anything about her teeth. That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? hiding sick boy to avoid assassins you might be surprised but we'll proceed on the assumption she'll be reasonable i will recall my collection agent tell miss doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment now is there anything else you need or can i return to my work mm. we're leaving I guess that works.
Okay. I wish I could say it was The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. So you're saying you'll work for me? If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. Okay. Welcome aboard. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Okay. Meet me on the ship. Traveling in style, are we? I'll be sure to nab a cabin with a view. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real happy to have you. Got word from Udom, from the hitman who trailed me the other night. Seems I'm indentured to the board now. I ain't too elated about going exclusive, but it's better than winding up dead. You sure saved my skin, stranger. All debts between me and Ellie are cleared. Rizzo's Purpleberry Fudge, a soft, sour candy shell, around a strawberry berry fudge. Step lightly, Miss Holcomb. I I'm not winded. Honest. My, uh, boot was untied. Hmm. Would hate for you to get left behind, or architect forbid, become lost? Okay. It's weird. You see we had a conveyor for it? Hey, you got a second? Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Pretty eager to throw in with somebody barely, you barely know. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. I've heard enough you're hired. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not going to regret this. See you back on the ship. See you on the ship, Felix. I'll just gather my personals and meet you on board. This is gonna be great. Really? We're picking up strays now? Look at that. A real vicar. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get along like a church on fire. strays while you were out? I suppose if the crew's quarters fill up, we could hang hammocks in the cargo hold. Yes.
Schon. All right. Stress signal on Terra too. Okay. Figure out where I'm supposed to go Welcome here. Back. Do wipe the blood and space dust from your feet in the entry bay. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Where is this distress, distress signal coming from? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's, there's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed. For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no! No, no, no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Vaughn Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Okay. I'll be here. We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. Captain, got a minute? No, not right now.
Hmm. This roseway business smells. Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call, and whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. <laughs> maybe it was nothing, maybe the call was an accident. You're saying he walked into a communications tower, turned on the transmitter, held down the talk button, and sent half a message by accident? Yes. <laughs> you act like you never done something like that. Let's not judge. Oh, I'm judging all right. Anyway, we might as well take a look out there, see if we can get the jump on whoever's waiting for us. Don't they have anybody that greet arrivals? For paperwork or ticketing or what all? We got Auto mag pistol. Could use those. Clear, 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 clear the roadway. Up, 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 strong, up. 
Oh no. On your way back, see you. It's moving out. Warning, Habitating obstruction. Elite Trooper Armor. It's 26. 't had enough of this shit I'm just the fucking tarmac guard no one said nothing about fighting no raps they pay you to whine or you just do it for free you're powerful free with that tongue of yours
I meant no offense, just try and lighten the situation with a little humor. Well, don't. Had a few questions. Sure. It's not like we're busy here or nothing. What happened? Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Who's in charge? Scientist. Name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. You said the raps broke loose. Did you have them caged up? Um, forget I said anything about that. Did you send a distress call? Distress call? From here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Why not? Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. Oh, before I forget, Anticleos makes the best pharmaceuticals in Helcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap Spacer's Choice pedals. Kind of secrets we got here. Hmm. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? Uh, no? Did you send a distress call? Uh, yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I, uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Under control, not from where I'm standing. What are you hiding? I'm not at liberty to discuss the nature of the work I'm doing here. Suffice it to say that its importance to me, uh, to the colony, is immeasurable. Working by yourself, are you? More often than not. Seems I'm the only one who sees the opportunity here. Then what might that be? A ticket to the good life once my research plays out. Byzantium. Recognition, money, proper facilities. No more uninspired dolts like my associates here. I think you're begging for someone's help, anyone's help. And might you be the sort of person who's, uh, not averse to risking your life? If the pay were right? Depends on what you need. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us. Shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. Tell me what you've, you're researching. I'll have a better idea what's at stake here. You have a point there. It most decidedly cannot make this situation any worse. All right. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. Dental gel? Yes, I see. Very important work. Uh, what's dental gel? Toothpaste. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? Only if you like to punch you need to punch you in the throat. Can we just cut to the chase here? Very well. We'd formulated the world's most effective appetite suppressant toothpaste.
Uh, diet toothpaste? Not just any diet toothpaste. The ultimate diet toothpaste. That's like discovering the best rocket fuel ever. Oh, I'm certain it could be made into that as well, with only a few changes to its molecular composition. But you're missing the point. Let's focus for a moment, shall we? Even if you disregard the obvious value of Auntie Cleo's Apazap diet toothpaste in and of itself, we're talking about my career here as well. Apazap? Nice, is it not? Came up with that myself. It's a shame our marketing department is almost as befuddled as my co-workers here. Say no more. Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and key card. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original by the Grand Architect. Jameson, he's in the old lab. Who's Jameson? My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. I'll find him. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. Of course they do. Please don't mistake my ambition for callousness. What should I mistake it for? Compassion? If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. You can see why people might think you're callous though, can't you? I understand I can come off as manipulative and ego-driven. It's something I've always been forced to contend with. I guess I'll have to take your word for it. about Dr. Crane's research, but we ought to find Mr. Jameson. He's got to be all alone and scared. What a delightfully dingy establishment. Hmm. Top of the hill's rafted on territory. Sit down. I don't need to do it myself. Ah, outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. Make what quick? My death, you simpleton. I'm not here to kill you. Oh, you aren't with the outlaws? Who are you then? Oh, well, good luck. Now, if we got the carpet. Ah, Orson, you idiot. Just put it... Ah, of course, because I didn't... Come on. We're gonna get this solved. I mean, Come on. It's, it's really not enough. I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> Hello? Oh, you're still here. If you haven't already, you might speak to Anton. He can point you in the right direction. I wish I could skip dialogue. Of course, because I didn't. We're gonna get this solved. I mean, it's it's. Hello.
What are you doing there? What does it look like? I'm preparing a personal defense device. Or trying to, anyway. Science. I... Why, yes. I suppose I could. Thanks. Need a hand? No. Uh, well, yes. Well, no. Perhaps. I left schematics in our storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. Sure, I'll see what I can find. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? Does it prevent cavities? Ah, ha! Topical humor, very good. I'm going to get back to this, if you don't mind. Good luck. Estimating the importance of the eighth back. Blankenship. Probably enough of that. I got 500 bits on the Darlings taking the finals this year. Living in there would rank only slightly better than prison. <laughs> of course. I told you, you're staying put. You're not listening. We can stop this. Only thing stopping them feasts is high caliber kinetics. <sighs> We close the vent shaft and we can contain them. 
Antibiotics is going up in smoke. Marauders must have hit it. System alert searching. We got trouble! <laughs> Got him. Security blade, huh? Fastest way to shut him up. What? How the hell did you get in here? First, I shot the raptids. No, not. To... I don't care about the beasts. I care about the front door. This is an egregious breach of protocol. How'd you get in? Oh, Anton sent me. Ugh. Can't use the centrifuge without supervision. Can't file reports without him double checking their every word can't save myself from mortal peril. It's like he thinks I'm a child. His hands-on management style is coming to a point of contention, I tell you. Take it up with him if you like. Now go before more raptors find this, this place. to 
show me how to do that. Steal everything. Got nothing. Oops, data schematics on. the 
magical shotgun. Nineteen by twelve. Nineteen by twelve. Sting machine, huh? The most beautiful places are often the most deadly. to be low phone tech to 50 Proceed fifty by eighty. This is 108, two handed. 
Understood. I'll keep my head down. Make a save. Didn't work out as well as I wanted it to. Understood. I'll keep my head down. Oh, they're safe.
I'm running away. Got him. You don't shoot, I won't shoot. Deal? Yeah, sure. Keep them hands where I can see them. What are you doing out here? Mostly getting shot at, bitten, or chased. You and me both. Name's Lillian. Lady named Cass hired my crew as gun hands. I got left here to watch for Cleo reinforcements. They all got pinned inside, so I can't say as I mind. So, why are we having conversations instead of shoot shootout? I'm sweaty. I got clawed by one of them monsters. I've been in the dirt all day, and I, I got bugs in places you don't need to know about. I'm on a fucking break. Got a smoke? Sure. Thanks, brother. Bad day, huh? I've had better. Lost some things in a dust-up. But I didn't get eaten like some of our crew. Got that going for me. Sorry, were they friends of yours? Some of them were okay. You don't get too close in this work. And Dylan, well, ain't no one gonna regret his passing. Least of all his mama. I was near the Raptodon pen when they got loose. Had to set a few to rights. When I got to checking if all my parts were still attached, I realized I'd dropped my cigarette case. <laughs> okay. I'll look busy to you. It's surrounded by pissed off raptodons. My mama didn't raise no dumb asses. This was a Spacer's Choice commemorative case. Some promo for founding day they did back in, uh, I forget the year. Worth decent bits to collectors. Wouldn't hurt to do her a nice turn, would it, Captain? Where did you lose them? An outdoor raptodon pen yonder, past the main entrance. Well, only knows why they're breeding the damn things. I'll come around if I get a hold of it. I'd be obliged. Just don't lose any parts trying. security beyond the main doors i'll watch your back if you're planning to waltz right in let's save i don't remember this
Let's see, we got better armor. Fourteen seventy one. Oh, this guy. Who the... you? Yeah? You care to explain what you're doing here? Did you miss the big sign outside? Anton sent me. That I am. Name's Porter. If Doc Crane did send you, I'd be glad for the help. Bad news is, we haven't been able to clean these outlaws out of the lab. Good news is, they haven't been able to escape, neither. So, stalemate? For now. I reckon they got no backup. On the other hand, we don't neither. And our mechanicals all went haywire for some damn reason. Damn mechanicals have always been more trouble than they're worth. How are you holding the attackers down? A place like this must have more than one exit. The garage and the front door are it. These bastards got in through the vent system, but we locked that down. They're not getting back out that way without a security key card. They'd need to take mine. Or make a new one in my office, I guess. And where can I find your office? Why you want to know that? What's your sh... Be sure it's secure. One level down across from the cafeteria, but I locked it up and I got the only key card. To get in, they'd have to blow it. We'd hear. So you're sure you don't have any jury riggers? Not a single magpike? Magpick? Organized crew like this, they probably got somebody to do that. You got a point. Better to be safe than shot in the back. What do you do here? Who, me? Or you mean the lab in general? You. I'm in charge of site safety engineering. Most days that means making sure folks don't run in the halls. Sounds boring. You can have it. Out here you can still see the real planet. Not the bits of Earth we brought to pave over the wilderness. Real planet is apparently Raptodons trying to eat your face. Nah, Raptodons are from Monarch. Fuck Monarch. So why build the lab here? What's this place for? Soap or something? I don't know. Years back they made antibiotics. You could maybe ask Doc Crane what he does all day. You don't care at all? What if it's something illegal? If it was illegal, the company wouldn't ask us to do it. Enough talk.
Right. Not sure if I'm gonna do the rest of this. Nothing. Empty.
Oh no. I think you could jimmy that one proper, Captain. Doesn't look too tough. beautifully. Plenty of stuff. How does this weapon work?
Understood. I'll keep my head down. A shot cannon might come useful. Don't remember what I'm supposed to do with that. Thank you. 
Where is he going? You! Over here! Oh, yeah? Oh, good. You're not shooting at me. That's a start. It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. Sorry to disappoint you. Never met anyone named Crane. I suppose it does not matter. Either Crane sent you, or you are some scavenger come to rob me in my moment of weakness. Let's make a deal. I'd like to go on living. You'd probably like to make some money. Help me get out of here, and I will pay you for your trouble. The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. Then I'd need you to clear me a path out of here. There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door. But Cleo Security's bottled up in there. If you don't want to shoot them, I suppose you could talk to them. The other way out is through the loading bay. But you'd have to clear out the rafts for me. Then I could just slip out the back, sight unseen. So you lied about not knowing Crane. I suppose I do not blame you. We liberated that research. We did not steal it. And yes, a few scientists were caught in the crossfire. You misreckon me. My conscience is what keeps me from throwing in with these corporate parasites. I would rather die than spend my life in a lab coat researching diet toothpaste. It is my one bargaining chip. If you want this research, you will help me out of this mess. Because Crane is a tool. Because no good deed goes unrewarded. Because doing me a good turn is the honorable and decent thing. Take your pick. The research I carry is valuable. I am willing to go halves with you. All right. You might be the first stroke of luck I've had all day. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Nothing beyond the purview of a talented freelancer like you. You really expect me to just let them pass? Why? So they can regroup behind their walls and mount another assault? Never mind. I'm obviously in no position to argue with you. If you can talk those guards into standing down, my people will follow suit. I'll help however I can. A raptodon is an apex predator, native to the jungles of Monarch. They are entirely unsuited to life on Terra 2, 
which may account for their horrible temper and appetite. What? Do not give me that look. I am allowed to have hobbies. Biology happens to be one of them. Yes, we accidentally released the Raps into the world when we attacked this place. But I am not at fault here. Those scientists had no business experimenting on these creatures. Oh, for goodness sake. They are just animals. Aggressive, territorial, frightened, and very probably hungry animals, but they die to gunfire like anything else. I do remember one of those feckless scientists yammering something about a raptodon suppression system. How should I know? I left his body where I shot him. Take your time. I am, to my chagrin, not going anywhere. <laughs> The beating heart of progress can at times be grotesque to witness. He does it. There's the mother. She's quite an impressive specimen, in both size and ferociousness. Watch out, Captain!
Got him. I've never been so pleased at the sight of an open door. Please tell me you've cleared a way out of here. Ask away. I have got nothing but time. Sell it, of course. I don't have any use for the scribblings of idiotic scientists. But whoever gave me this tip obviously does. Assuming I make it out of this place alive. And with my ship out of commission, I'll have to leave on foot and hope my luck changes. One problem at a time, I suppose. I'll be back. I would ask what was on your mind, but the answer is obviously me. Blame terror. That's why. Like, why is it like? One twenty three.
damn... You must think me a fool. I was watching on the security cameras. You got downright friendly with the outlaw leader. I reckon we got nothing to say to each other. You best back yourself out of here. Nice and slow. You got one minute. Starting now. You convinced her to let us leave in peace. Listing the ills we've been done ain't exactly putting me in a mind to compromise. I gotta believe that all we done will mean something to the company, to Doc Crane. That effort will make up for mistakes. I trust that we all end up where we're supposed to be, that all the variables come together in the end. I reckon I don't see any better solution. Fine, damn it. We'll pull out. Here, my key card. It'll get you access to the whole place. Full stakes, people. We're heading back to town. I would ask what was on your mind, but the answer is obviously me. So you have. I am much obliged. And now, if you do not mind, I have had quite enough of this wretched place. Oh, really? And why, pray tell, would I do a thing like that? Damn and blast. I should have seen this coming. Here, take the damned research. Tell Crane I hope he chokes on it. Good. I never trust a freelancer who works for free. Orphans. <laughs> Is that nice. what you are calling yourself now? Here. Let it never be said that I do not reward good work. Picked the wrong Stop. damn day. Stop. Okay. 